pretending to play tennis on the wings of a biplane, 1920. Wing walkers Ivan Unger, foreground, and daredevil Gladys Roy act out a tennis match on the upper wings of a flying biplane. The iconic 1925 photograph of a sky-high stunt above Los Angeles is still available for purchase as a postcard. An empty stomach, an empty wallet and a broken heart can teach you the best lessons of life, Robin Williams. The throne cradle of Napoleon's son, the so-called, King of Rome, made in 1811. Photo from Kunsthistorisches Museum, the cradle was a gift from the city of Paris to Napoleon and his second wife Marie-Louise on the occasion of the birth of their son Napoleon Franz Karl on March 20, 1811. In order to continue the tradition of the Holy Roman Empire, the father immediately bestowed the title of a King of Rome, which is why the cradle had to be magnificent like a throne. Soldiers from New Zealand posing with a German anti-tank rifle Mauser M1918. WW1. Portable flamethrower being prepared to destroy locusts, Palestine, 1915. Photo from Library of Congress. Traveling salesman in Forreston, Texas. Circa 1905. The Panama Canal in 1913. A member of the CIA helps evacuees up a ladder onto an Air America helicopter. On the roof of 22 Za Long Street April 29, 1975. Shortly before Saigon fell to advancing North Vietnamese troops. 83 years ago today, World War II began. The war is generally considered to have begun on 1 September 1939, when Germany invaded Poland. The United Kingdom and France subsequently declared war on Germany on 3 September. World War II was by far the deadliest conflict in human history, it resulted in 70 to 85 million fatalities, mostly among civilians. Photo credit, Stanis Manis. An enthusiast for men's dress reform walking down the Strand in London. The MDRP, Men's Dress Reform Party, was formed in the interwar years in Britain, 1930. Helmet worn by the Athenian general Multiades in the Battle of Marathon. Given as an offering to the Temple of Zeus at Olympia after the battle, 2,500 years ago. The inscription on the helmet, Multiades is dedicating to the god Zeus. Soviet cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev stuck in space during the collapse of the Soviet Union, 1991. With the Baikonur Cosmodrome and the landing area both being located in the newly independent Kazakhstan, there was a great deal of uncertainty about the fate of his mission. He remained in space twice as long as originally planned, spending a total of 311 days in space. He returned to Earth on March 25 and is sometimes referred to as the last Soviet citizen. White Pass Train Station, Alaska, 1900. Two men participating in a motorcycle chariots race, 1925. People watching a Chicago Cubs baseball game outside Wrigley Field in 1932.